to here. So, very carefully, remove the splash pan. I'll take, let you take that. I'll let you take that. You want the board level with the wheel head. Oh, good luck. And a little water. A little water. A little water on the other side. A little water. And onto the board itself. So I'm going to do this maneuver of it slides. So I'm going to bring the water here to under the piece and then slip it all the so way. So you're going to do the guillotine thing again? Yep. Uh, wow. Look at that. Sweet. Now, there's some noogies over here. I'll trim the noogies off. And I see I got some hair on it again. <laughs> Where's hair? <laughs> uh, I think it was my hair. <laughs> it's okay. I'll burn off. That's okay. oh, good. So, we'll make a handle for this lovely bag. However, I would like you guys to hand shake. You notice I have this little knob on it. So, like throwing, pulling the handle is all about compression and stretching. Very consistent. With the hand, with the form. And you're going to compress. I use a, start out with a round profile. Think about milking a cow. Hmm. And that's what we're going with, milking a cow. So I'm compressing and stretching, compressing and stretching. Notice I keep turning it so I get consistent pulls because your hand is not like a robot. You're going to have some differences between this and this. So you turn so you get the same kind of pull action. Now, some mugs want a nice round handle. However, I do a handle called like a strap handle. So I actually kind of constrict my hand to this kind of profile to get a kind of flatter handle. And I go even one step more where I'm pressing my thumb in so I have this nice kind of thumb area where my, you know, the hand will go. So you can see mm -hmm. I'm getting this kind of nice thumb print. Nice There it is. Major surgery. I know. <laughs> Nice, consistent pressure. If it's not consistent, what you'll find is you're kind of tweaking the clay and constricting in one area, and it kind of pinches. If that occurs, and because I took out that kind of nodule, I do have this kind of thinner area, so I'm going to pull right here, see if I can get it. So 
you want, you know, a handle that's kind of going to fit the form. No, because I'm not going to attach it just yet. So I keep pulling until I get a nice thickness that might be for the mug. And then I kind of turn it over to get this kind of nice angle. And then I'm just going to let it sit up like that. Once it sets up to like a leather hard stiffened form, same too for the mug. So you want them to be consistent. So they set up together. You're going to cut it off of this hump. So you're going to cut the angle here and the angle up here, holding it against your, your mug form to match the angle for the wall. So the mug handle feels like it's growing out of the form. It, it feels like it's part of the form. It's not just like it stuck on. So you get this nice kind of feeling of uniforms, you know, harmonious, harmonious, harmonious. How long do you leave it set up? Oh, that's a good question. How how warm is it outside? Pretty warm? Yes. Yeah. It was 100 yesterday. Uh, yeah, that's warm. <laughs> ah. So, if it's that hot, I find a nice little sunny spot, I'd say 10 minutes. If it's not that sunny out or that hot, maybe a little longer. It kind of depends on the... Uh, <laughs> you just stand up there and hold it. <laughs> <laughs> It could be yeah. a, yeah. <laughs> you don't get, this. get your you know, vitamin you can D. You put it in front of a you know, heat gun, hair dryer or something for about 10 minutes. It sets up. This place sets up. Especially mm -hmm. if you've been using your plate, like me, for a while and find all these strange things in it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it sets up in about 10, you know, maybe 20 minutes most. Or if you uh, wrap it up really well, you can save it until the next day. You know, uh, a lot of times uh, production potters make many, 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 many 